Hey everybody, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. Making this video because, yeah, yeah, I haven't made the video in like a little long. Although I've I've uploaded like a Diddy It, and um, yeah, it's been a Diddy It I think. Oh, it's already started up. At least no one's logged in, so I can log myself in. So yeah, uh. Good thing no one was logged in when I turned it on. It still had been put to sleep mode. I think someone was on when I eventually... Uh, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I still have like a cold or something. Yeah, I have a cold. Anyway, welcome back to my walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600. This is 2019 version. Of course, yeah. This is part 6. May, may, maybe the reason why this computer is being a little fast today, it's because someone was on the computer and forgot to shut it down. They need to start shutting it down because they shouldn't even leave it turned on like that. Whoever left it on needs to have it turned off, not in sleep mode. I believe Chase was on there, so he needs to learn to turn off the computer. Or should I say, eight Chases should learn to turn off the computer next time. Because... He shouldn't have it on left there. Anyway, this part, we're going to be like, we're going to start doing like the Microsoft money tutorials. But remember, viewers, the whole walkthrough for the 2019 edition of this series, it's going to be uh, 25 parts. And the last part will not be on the last Microsoft money tutorial this time. So, yeah. But yeah, like always, the first Microsoft Money tutorial is going to be on manager taxes. So, we're going to wait for this thing to be opened. By the way, I've got some ice water right here just in case I have to drink it. Because I have a cold. Drinking it right now. After this video, I'm going to have to get some rest because I've got a concert to get to later. How long is this going to load? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Flashlight. On load. It's been three minutes. There we go. Okay. Where should I go? I'll go to pro program files. Microsoft money. And um mm -mm. Where's the where's the folders? Where's the files? Oh there they are. Now we should go like to media and then AV help my fingers in the way oops once again this part's gonna be pretty quick because I've, I've got a concert to get to today then we click on 02MT because that means manager taxes so let's, let's get this video up. All right. Here we go, everybody. Here's Microsoft Money 2004 tutorial called Manage Your Taxes.
Our taxes are going to be. Wait, why is it glitching out? Be a snap. Now We're gonna have to start this over from the beginning because that one did not count. Let's try again. Our taxes are going to be a snap now that we use Microsoft Money. How's that? Well, let's take a look at our Money homepage. We can switch the homepage view to show just our tax information. Then at tax time, Money uses all of our financial information to help us file our taxes. So what do we do to get ready? Money can help us find any deductions we're eligible for. We just have to answer a few questions. Oh, I see. Money tells us about available deductions medical expenses, donations, and home mortgage interest. Then it lets us know which deductions we might be able to take at tax time. Money can even help us track these deductions throughout the year. Here, money can demonstrate the tax implications of selling stocks. And I bet these links on the homepage take us to the MSN Money website, where we can keep up to date on late-breaking tax news and also reference informative tax articles. They sure do. And whenever we want to find out how much we owe in taxes, we can go to the tax estimator, where money takes all our financial information, including our income and our deductions, and gives us a good sense of what our taxes will be. I see that we fill in some of these numbers, but money fills in the rest for us. What if we want to see the figures that money's using to do this estimate? It's easy. If we go to the tax line manager, we can review the tax line categories and their totals. Just click a category and then click Go to Details. Now we can see all the individual entries that made up that tax line total. Looks like we can even open an individual entry. I sure would like to know how much to withhold, so we don't pay too much or too little come tax time. Well, take a look at this. If we go to the tax withholding estimator, we can find out if we are over or under withholding. I see. We just choose whether we want to get a refund or owe taxes, and how much we want it to be. And then we enter our paycheck information. I see. Here, it looks like we're supposed to enter our allowances. And now, here's our result. How did money figure it so exactly? It calculated the extra amount we need to withhold on top of the normal required withholdings. So we'll come out just right. All I have to do is take this figure into my payroll department and have them adjust the withholding. If we prefer, we could set up a monthly bill to help us save more by April 15th, or update our budget to reflect an IRS refund. Our options for April 15th seem pretty straightforward. They are. With money, we'll be ready to use a tax program, file our taxes by hand, or turn our information over to an accountant. We can even file our taxes on the web. You're right, Amy. Money will definitely make it easier to get our taxes ready this year. That's it for manager taxes. Okay. The next the next tutorial we'll be doing in this part. Well, actually in the next part. Yeah, in the next part we will be doing this one which is called Enter Checks and Deposits. So that'll be for part seven, which is in the next part. So that's that. So we're going to like take a listen to some of these Microsoft Money audio stuff. So yeah, we're going to open it with QuickTime. Where is QuickTime anyway? There is QuickTime. Now let's play the audio. Oh, this is going to be a little loud, so we're going to turn down the volume for this. Minimize that. Uh. Excuse me. I won't let you play it. Crap. What if we try doing that on Windows Movie Maker? We'll try that. Okay, we got in the Windows Movie Maker. Now we need to try to like get all these in here. So for viewers watching this video, 
this might take some time to wait for the thing to show up because this could be a lot of files. Hopefully this doesn't make the computer crash though because if it does, then I'm not very happy about that. Besides, this computer is like 15 years old and it still works, so I just hope it does fine. So this is going to take like about a few minutes or seconds, so we're going to pause the recording and wait for it. So because I have like 40 percent left on my yeah 40 percent left on my battery for the tablet so yeah we're let's pause recording we'll be right back all right we're back and I just drank some ice water and I was waiting for some of the files to be imported it's still going unfortunately because I look at that see it it's not even done yet focus camera focus why is this camera not focusing? I need I need it to focus somehow because only this camera would focus. I really want it to. Oh, anyway, we got all the files imported. Now let's see. Let's try to test them. The account list tracks all your accounts and their balances in one place. Your total account balance is summarized at the bottom of the list. Click any account to go straight to its register. Well, it tests good, so let's just test the next one. Use the money account register just like a checkbook to track your account's withdrawals, deposits, and transfers. To enter a transaction, click New, complete the transaction information, and then click Enter. This page shows all the information you provided for this account when you set it up in money. You can use this page for reference or use it to change the account details. Click Add a New Account to create a new account in Money. Or click another task to change an existing account. Click an account in the list to review or change the account details. Money lets you keep a list of favorite accounts for quick access from the Money homepage or the Favorites menu. Select the checkbox for each account you want to include in your list of favorite accounts. When you close an account, Money keeps the records of your account for tax and other purposes but removes it from the current reports about your net worth. Select the checkbox next to the account you want to close. If you want to reopen the account, clear the checkbox. This list shows where all your accounts are held. To assign a bank or broker to an account you've already set up, click the account name and then click Move Account. Specify the bank or broker where the account is held. Click the account you want to balance against a printed statement from your bank or broker. Click an item to view an account, use online services, or see contact information for this bank or broker. Click the account you want to set up for online banking. This page shows you the running balance of this account over the past three months. Just like a paper checkbook register, use the money account register to track all transactions in an account. To enter a transaction, click the first blank line in the register, fill out the form, and then click Enter. Use this page to experiment with the potential effects of various financial events and how they might affect your cash flow. For example, you could find out when you can afford to buy that new TV or whether taking a vacation next month will put you in the red. The cash flow optimization tips provide recommendations and strategies for managing the cash flow of your day-to-day -day accounts. Add or remove accounts from your business's chart of accounts by clicking the account name, then clicking Add or remove. Add or remove categories from your business's chart of accounts by clicking the category name and then clicking include or remove. Whenever you click the heading for an advisor FYI, you can review the details here. Read more about the suggestion. Under take action, click a link to go to a place in money to act on this suggestion. You can learn more by clicking the link to MSN Money on the web. These reports will tally how much income you earn from each product or service or from each customer. Find out how much you owe each vendor or get a list of all upcoming bills. You don't have to leave estimates to chance or memory. Record them as invoices that you can send as bids to your customers and then track them within money. We're going to stop doing this for now because I don't want to keep doing this throughout the whole video. I don't want to waste my time, so... There might be a logon sound for Microsoft Money, but I don't even know where it is. I don't really think it's there. We're gonna have to like import that sound, so we'll be right back. Okay, I found the startup to Microsoft Money. Let's play it. Oh, 
Okay, that's it. It's very interesting how you can put in sounds like that. It's really good. Well, that was fun. Now it's time for us to shut down this computer. Please remember out there, viewers, the next part will include the next Microsoft Mind tutorial, which is on entering checks and transactions. So let's shut down the computer. All right. That'll be about it for part six of the 2019 edition of the Windows XP computer running on the Dell Dimension 4600. Thank you viewers for watching this video. Part seven is coming soon. I don't know when because I still have a cold. But anyway viewers, thank you viewers for watching and have a great time. I will see you for part seven of this video series. This is Quentin Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out. Goodbye.